we've talked a lot about the problems we're trying to address here, whether harm is caused by the use of data, uh, whether credit is impacted, whether uh, people are redlined or denied access to products or opportunities. Um, it seems to me that when you, when you approach the issue from that perspective, which is a very legitimate approach, that there is another issue that is, I, I don't know if I would call it a harm, maybe it is, but there's simply a privacy issue. A lot of Americans, I believe, don't want to have to prove that they were harmed. They don't want people collecting data on them, or they don't want certain data collected. It's sort of the right to be forgotten, or the right to opt out of certain segments of data collection. Is that a legitimate uh, right that we should try to protect? It's a legitimate option that we need to be able to have, the, the adversity score. I think that any child who's applying for college should be able to say, hey, wait, I don't want my neighborhood being part of that. Do they have to prove harm? I don't think they should have to. They should be able to say, hey, no, this is not something I want. It's legitimate. Dr. Cackley. I think that's right, that, that it, it's important for people to be able to make a choice about um, what data they share and what, and what data they don't. 